Maybe a couple of sides ago. Uh -huh. Okay, so your connections weak. Are we on medications, medications, medications? Not yet. The next page. Because this one is not preparing for a health emergency for medication. Okay. And then medication. So we'll be on that. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I think we are okay. Uh, go ahead. Uh, guys, if you cannot uh, listen or if it freezes, um, you mind just uh, sending us a message through Facebook, then we'll be able to see it um, and whatnot. I don't know why this happened. Sorry about that, but I will put Ben back on here. Thank you. Sorry for that glitch. So, I don't know where it froze, so I'm just going to go back. So, it's really important for lupus patients that we recommend that you have a binder that has all your information, not just for you, but maybe a family member too that maybe needs to advocate for you when there's an incident. So, uh, you know, you need a, in that binder, you probably need to write down like your symptoms, when uh, your flare ups, the side effects, so that your loved ones. Uh, know about that and it could advocate for you when they go to a, a doctor. Uh, track the dates and times of the event, level of pain and fatigue, stressors and medications. And your loved one's uh, doctor can be better prepared to handle the emergency. Uh, if, if someone needs to be admitted to the hospital, uh, let's just, you know, help, help your, have your support group help you out, help uh, have friends and family uh, help you with those responsibilities. So in, like I said earlier, we recommend that you have at least one or two weeks of medication available to you. Uh, so if an incident does happen, it, you ha your needs are, are, are taken care of. Also, um, in the pack, we recommend that you have freezable ice packs, uh, immunization and dates received, any allergies that you have uh, in a family health history. Um, other things you can add onto it if you wanted to is your vision and dental records. Records are notes for the most recent physical examination. And you can also add other information on there about your health, including diet and exercise regimens if you wanted to. And next slide. And the last thing, um, don't forget to prepare for your uh, with your pets. You know, bring uh, have an extra collar, a leash, their identification, medications, and food for them too for, for at least three days for, or for them to supply. And other things we could do to prepare is we could, there's plenty of classes out there right now. Yeah, I, I recommend that everyone takes a CPR class, a first aid class, and, and also within the city of San Jose, there's a lot of or, local organizations. I know there's a uh, uh, on the website next door, there's organizations that have drills and how to and have CPR classes and how to, you can prepare for uh, disasters. I know the Almaden area has a CERT team there that has monthly classes. And I'll go over some questions now that Span gave me earlier. Sure. Um, someone asked a question about medical braces. So, so we do come across the medical braces. Any information that you're able to provide for us, the fire department, we go to emergency, especially if a person's uh, not able to speak for themselves, it's very helpful for us. It, and that it helps us, uh, gives us guidance on how to help the patient out. So the medical braces would be a great thing to have. I know a lot of the phones now, the, the smartphones have an app on it themselves where you can plug in your medical information it's in, in itself. And the fire department, you just hit that, that button and you can put your, your name, any medications, and, and people that we can contact in case there is an emergency. Also, our fire department, the San Jose Firefighters, we're providing something called the vial of life. Um, I think I gave some to Aaron last time we had it, uh, had an event, and it's just a little file and it's a little paper and it has your name, basic information, your medications, and you put that up in your refrigerator or somewhere that is accessible. So if someone calls 911, we, we, can, we can find it. That's one of the places we look at. And that'll help both of us, and it'll help the fire department helping you out. Someone also asked a question about disposal of used medications. 
the County of Santa Clara has a program. You can go to their website, and they have disposal areas for their medications. They, they don't want the medications getting into the water, so they passed a proposition uh, back in 2015, and you're able to dispose your medications through them. Some of the pharmacies, too, if you go to, you're able to drop off um, old, uh, unused medication, out-of-date medication. That'll help um, the environment. Um, any other questions that we received? Yeah, uh, so one of the uh, questions is, uh, you said there is a 72% chance of an earthquake 6.7 or higher in the next 43 years. Uh, so what, w give us an idea about what a 6.7 earthquake looks like. What's the damage? What's the, uh -huh. what? Well, um, I've experienced 6.7 earthquakes. So it, it depends on the buildings. Okay. So the as you drive around town, you'll see there's different ages of buildings. Of course, the most mod more modern buildings have more protections because of the codes have been updated over the years. Um, if there is a 6.7 earthquake, there's going to be broken windows. Um, there's going to be lights falling, debris falling. That's one of the critical things we have to do in our homes. This is secure our furniture. If you go to your local hardware store, they sell straps that you can secure your TV. You can secure bookcases. So that's one of the things that we, uh, that causes many of the injuries when it comes to earthquakes is falling objects, falling degrees. So, it, yeah, it, it six point seven could, yeah, yeah, it could uh, destroy a building too, depending on how old it is and how safe it is. Okay, and um, with respect to lupus patients, a lot of them are in a lot of pain a lot a lot of the time. Um, how does somebody like that? For example, for somebody who is it's not easy just to drop and, and grab onto something secure or get under a, a table or what have you, um, do they recruit other people to help them? How, how does that work out for them? So, you know, an earthquake's unpredictable. So the biggest thing the, the patient could do is pretty much stay in place and drop to the ground. They don't want to fall down. If, it, if it's so severe that they can't get around, I recommend, yeah, just look for the closest thing to take cover. Like I mentioned earlier, if you're in your bed, you cover yourself with a pillow. Just make sure that you're away from the falling objects as best as you can. And make your family, friends, neighbors aware of your situation. So if something does happen, they can go immediately and go help you out. And a lot of the information I provided today, yeah, having preparing now will go a long way when the, an event does happen. I think um, that's all the questions we have today. Okay. Well, um, thank you for yeah. having me here. Yeah. Uh, this is the first time I've ever done Facebook Live or or used this format, so I'm sorry for the little shop shopping as the way it went. Yeah, no, no, that was. But thank you for having me here, and, and hopefully this information is able to help you out. And feel free to contact me if you need any more information or yeah. um, anything I, uh, I can do for you guys. Like I said, the FEMA website is a great uh, website, and also California Prepared if you want to get more uh, resources. Yeah, and I don't know if, if all of you saw, um, there was a slide presentation going along with uh, what Ben was saying here um, on our little iPad, but what we will do is uh, we will put um, the entire presentation on Facebook for you to see. Um, so if you want to refer to it later, and obviously now these two videos uh, will also uh, be archived on our Facebook page um, for everyone uh, to check out later. And so if you, if you have friends or family who wanted to join us live but couldn't, let them know that they could see it uh, later online. Um, again, thank you again so much. Yeah, and thank thanks you. to the fire department. Yeah, thank you again. Thank you. Sir.